big fights, two world title fights here in LA. Um, I'm actually heading to see and talk to Joe Rogan on his podcast. Huge experience for me, huge experience for Glory. Um, we're going to sit down, probably talk for a few hours about kickboxing and how big this show in LA is going to be and about my career and how popular kickboxing is getting around the world. So here we go, uh, bucket list for me, sitting down talking to Joe Rogan about kickboxing. It doesn't get much better than that. All right, man, Bazooka Joe Valtellini here. I've just, uh, one of the biggest opportunities in my career. I get to talk to a man that I looked up to and now is kind of my idol in the sport. He's uh, the color commentator that I look up to be and, you know, starting my own podcast with Glory, I want to be like this man here, Mr. Joe Rogan. So, hey, what's up? So, man, it's been awesome, man. So, yeah, I'm super excited to do this with you. Bro. We've been talking about this for a while. But I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Glory. Um, huge fan of kickboxing. I just can't say enough about it. And to me... It's one of the, the great mysteries of the world why it's not more popular than it is. Yeah, we always hear it on your podcast. You're like, yeah. what's going to make this sport huge? And did you watch Bader Hari Rico? Yeah, I did. What it was a, that disappointing one? that it ended like that, you yeah. know, with Bader Hari getting a broken arm, but he looked really good up until then. He looked clean. He looked man. composed. He looked clean. And yeah. It was cool because he had been preparing for that fight for a long time. Oh, he yeah. had been really active on social media and you know, he had been making a lot of posts about it, mm -hmm. showing his workouts, showing his training. So it was pretty exciting. I'm, I'm really hoping he heals his arm up and they yeah, go back we need, after We need again. more fights like that, I think. Man. Yes. And that's one of the reasons why I think the sport's gonna grow is those Bader Rico fights. Man, casual fans were hyped about it. Everybody yeah. was hyped about it. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm, I'm a, like I said, I'm a huge supporter, and I hope we can get some people interested that are going to listen to this podcast, and hopefully yeah, yeah. We, we can help it grow. Awesome, man. Thanks, brother. Thank Let's you, just brother. get this going. I'm excited. I for sure. had, when I was fighting, I had to have a one-dimensional approach. What worked for me? And now as a coach, I, I, someone asked me the question. You, um, they're like, a new student who's very talented comes to your gym. He has, he's not strong. He's not really as athletic as you. Um, he doesn't have the training background as you. How do you make that guy a world champion? I want to have a system in my fighting at Bazooka Kickboxing that you can go into a street fight, you can go into an MMA fight, you can kickbox. You've got to have that knowledge and the skill set to be able to fight everything. What's up? So I just finished, I think that was almost a two and a half hour podcast with Joe Rogan, which let me tell you, uh, there's been a check on my bucket list now. It's uh, probably a cool experience to sit there and talk two and a half hours with um, a man that I really looked up to from a young age. So I think this is great for our sport. And if you listen to this podcast, you're going to hear how much Joe Rogan loves kickboxing, uh, how much a big fan of the sport he is. And man, he's, he's so knowledgeable in it. So to sit there and talk and to, to get the sport on, uh, to mainstream attention is my goal. Man, I'm a kickboxer for life. I want to build this sport. Um, to new levels. So this was definitely a good start for glory and kickboxing and uh, let's keep it growing.